My friend's husband has been leading a double life. This man is creating an entire army out here. He's got families everywhere. I've been sharing this story on my backup account, Storytime with Lily. Go watch those videos and catch up. So when she found out that he was cheating on her, she called me. We ran some of his profile pictures through Google Image Reverse, which led us down a rabbit hole. This man's got profiles on nearly every site. Plenty of fish, Bumble, Tinder, Snapchat, Facebook, everything. And those profiles led us to the other women. Here's the kicker. Each side piece and their family loves him. They see him as that woman's spouse. Like this one side chick will call her Jennifer. Jennifer's mother tagged him in a post. His fake mother-in-law says, I know you're leaving to go back on the road tomorrow and I hope you have a safe trip, son. Like these fake in-laws think he's family. They don't know the truth. Not yet anyways. Another fake mother-in-law tagged him on a different profile saying that she couldn't wait for him and her daughter to get married. But it gets worse. So one of his pregnant girlfriends tagged him in a Facebook post. She says, I can't wait to meet our baby boy. And my friend's husband comments, Yeah, I'm so excited to have my first son. He's got two sons with my friend. He's got these people believing he's someone he's not. And these women had no idea about his cheating until a few months ago. Apparently, one of the girlfriends went through his phone and found out he was cheating with the other girlfriend. That's when she broke up with him and filed for child support. He got behind on that child support. So they send the sheriff out to have him serve. And that's when they came to my friend because he's legally married to her. She was confused. She told the sheriff deputy, this can't be right. We're together. I've never filed for child support. So when she asked her husband about it, he denies all of it. A few days later, she gets a letter from DSS saying that the rears had been paid. And it's with the credit card they share. So as he's denying it to her, he's paying the rears. My friend is heartbroken right now. She said she feels like she married a stranger. And I have to admit, it does look that way. I never suspected this guy would do something like this. He was always that one guy that we bragged on. Because he was such a good husband and father. When she called me. I was shocked. I just couldn't even believe it at first. But once we started digging and seeing the proof, my mind is just blown right now. How do you keep up with all this stuff? I get tired from going to the store and back. How are y'all out here keeping up with 10 and 12 different families? Here's some more details. He is a different person with each woman. Like he would tell his wife he didn't like lingerie. But with Jennifer, he loves lingerie. With his wife, he hates wintertime, doesn't like snow. But with Jennifer, they go skiing. Here, he don't like motorcycles. He says they're too dangerous. But with his other girlfriend, they ride motorcycles together. They go to bike week. With her, he likes jeans. With her, he likes khakis, boots, dress shoes. He is a different person with each woman. He's got three children that are named after him as a junior who don't know about each other because he wanted each woman to think that was his first son. It's just so strange to me how somebody will go so far to keep the lie going. He specifically named two of his daughters the same name. And we're not sure how many people are involved in this. Now my friend is starting to realize a few things. A while back, he posted a picture of him and my friend. And another woman commented on it, wow, really? But then that comment just disappeared. So my friend thought it was just a troll. But now looking back, she realizes some things. This is how people get hurt. And the children are the main ones who suffer. In my next video, we're going to talk about how each family is different.